six x six thousand lipo batteries from rclipobattery.com. Come a two pack. RC Lipo, www.rclipobattery.com, 100C, 6S, 6000, MNH. Uh, I'll stick these in my bunk and see how well they do tomorrow. These are made from uh, components in the in Japan. Got nice tight packaging on them. There's the EC5. <coughs> They're just charging up. I'm gonna see how they do. Um, and then I'm gonna run them in my Avanti tomorrow. Yeah, they do. Got the RC Lipo 6S 6100 C in here. Let's see how she does. Got her balanced about right there. The hill that you walk up is so, check it out. This is the uh, high performance Avanti. It's really huge. It's got a little coat on it, three real canopy stuff. Holy shit. Man, that thing's got some thrust. Yeah. Taking her a little easy on a brand new battery.
Gear check. Jim, way to go. Beautiful. It's what I wanted. Beautiful. You did it, man. Set her down nice and easy. I have 30 seconds left. But it's a brand new battery and I don't want to push it. I know. RC Lipo, another guy online that I know, he put them in his, um, his uh, Draco, and he said they've been flawless on like about, he's done about 13 flights. That's good flying, Jim. Really nice. Thanks. And, I mean, there's no gyro in this thing. Yeah, I was going to ask if you're flying. It doesn't need one. Yeah. But you just cut the power about right here on the last leg. Yeah. And glide her in and give her a little bit of power just in case. I thought you overshot the base leg there for a minute, but you, you brought it back on. And the sign you were right straight to that same thing. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. You're the man. I have to check this battery. You're the man. See you guys later. You can have a good weekend, buddy. Yep. You too. Good to see you. See you, Ken. See ya. See, this is. This is a lot easier to land than that A-10. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, and so is the F-16. Though I, I went back and looked at my last F-16 landing and I, right there you put the nose up and it you nose up all the way down. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. That's I like the this one. one is different. You gotta bring it down and then flare it at the last minute. I was, I was surprised how much damage Matt did on his. But it, it, it spun around. It, you know, in the Because the damage was over here and yeah, the high grass was over here. Yeah, well, see, this best wheel best. hit the high grass and it spun around. Yeah. And then he hit over here. He was way too hot. Was he? Yeah. yeah. He was nervous over the well, some, wind and the trees. You know, if you know you're running out of milliamps. Yeah, he was afraid of that too. You got to make a decision. I can collect the parts over the run road or I can try to get them out of the woods. <laughs> yeah, that's why when it says uh, one minute left, I start looking for landing. Well, these batteries did great. They had good thrust. I was able to gun it out when I was doing an approach. And I decided to put the gear down to check them. And then I gunned it out and it worked great. Woo. Got 57% left after over a five minute flight. It's pretty good. Wow, that's really good. You could have gone around three or four times yet. Yeah, see that's why I like to have the extra go around. Yeah. So there you go. Battery works great. Could probably fly, fly another minute easy. Any more equipment and no, I, anybody have something?